Hi, this is John. Welcome to ProAmp Solutions. Um, I have a new Blues Junior 4 in the shop and uh, this one came in the shop um, for a high noise floor and um, as you might suspect um, this uh, particular filter cap here uh, has uh, gone bad and so uh, contributing uh, significantly to that noise floor so but what I have here I wanted to go over the differences and some of the improvements that uh, Fender has made so one of my main criticisms uh, was the weaknesses of the PCBs so the main PCB board is now through hole plated it's still single sided uh, just with the traces on the back side but it is through hole plated which helps significantly uh, with the mechanical connection and uh, with the issue of lifting pads. The uh, tube PCB is much improved. It is now double sided and through plated so basically in my opinion they have finally uh, solved uh, that problem. Uh, so I'll go through the changes sort of kind of top to bottom. Uh, as far as uh, maintenance and reliability, doesn't change what I consider my stage one a whole lot. They still use the cheap plastic jack here that puts stress on the board. Uh, they still use these in Illinois capacitors. Uh, thank you for that fender. They continue to fail and I'll keep throwing them in my five gallon bucket. Um, and then um, they have uh, this now the stock speaker rather than a Jensen is a Celestian type A um, and we'll go through just there's a few changes the main ones the main reason on the three that you had problems with uh, the PCB board with the tube sockets was due to cooking and over uh, dissipating tubes well what they have done is they have converted from a fixed bias to a cathode bias in this amp which is uh, really nice uh, so you'll notice uh, R51 and R52 here uh, and that filter cap for the bias supply which was right here uh, that is now all gone and what you'll see new is uh, this uh, let's see uh, yeah this resistor here and pardon my head, this one here, these are the new uh, cathode uh, resistors, uh, so for the cathode bias. And then um, I believe it was R31 and R32, the 220Ks uh, that were the grid resistors where the old bias uh, circuit came in, the fixed bias, that now just goes to ground uh, as you would expect with the cathode bias. So those are some significant changes and, and improvements. The only thing I see that's kind of ludicrous is the cathode bypass resistors are 22 UF 450 volts and you might see 12 volts on the cathode so this is just absurd to use a 450 volt cap for that purpose. Not sure why they did that. Completely unnecessary uh, but anyways they use a two, uh, not a shared, they use individual one on each plate, a 270 ohm resistor and a 22 UF bypass uh, capacitor. So that's that change. Another fairly significant change is the reverb input now comes off the plate of uh, v, the V1A. So the input signal to the reverb is really always going to be uh, clean it won't be gained up and after the master control as it was before so I think that's a pretty significant improvement as far as the op amp and the current and how they gain it up and all that has not changed here uh, the big difference is the tank itself uh, its positioning uh, using a ruby tank um, and uh, where the input comes from and then another thing it's uh, subtle but it's one of my mods actually uh, that is now implemented on the reverb there's a, a treble uh, bypass on the reverb pot and it used to just have a 3.3 nanofarad cap across there 
Well, now it has an 820 ohm and 3.3 nanofarad cap in series, uh, which is now, that is the same uh, as my mod there. So that that's kind of the reverb. So pretty significant change in the reverb, significant change in the circuit boards, significant change in the bias circuit, and tubes won't overheat. And the, the PCB here with the tube sockets is much more uh, robust in the long term. You won't have uh, problems lifting pads with stress on these boards because they're double-sided and through-hole plated. Then on uh, the, the gain and filtration, uh, what you'll see now is C4, uh, which is this electrolytic bypass cap here, has been changed to 2.2 UF from 22 UF. That's also one of the changes I incorporate uh, in my mods. But they still left uh, the first bypass cap uh, the same uh, value, and that's one of the other changes uh, that I make. Then on the uh, coupling caps, they have also changed uh, C8 to 22 nanofarads from uh, 2.2 nanofarads. So both of these here used to be 2.2 nanofarads, and they have changed uh, this cap to let more base content uh, go through on, on that gain stage. So um, some improvement, but not to the extent uh, that I... Uh, carry my mods through and then there's no change in the tone stack uh, which I think is very subpar on this particular amp but that really covers the changes uh, reverb taken from the plate here and the uh, treble bypass uh, on the actual reverb pot um, yeah celestian type a speakers so they've definitely made uh, steps in the right direction but probably 85% uh, of my mods uh, would still hold true uh, for this uh, particular uh, amp. Um, you know, sans all of the invasive work relative to this uh, PCB. So on this particular amp, as it comes through, uh, I'm going to uh, finish it out with uh, my mods and we're going to put F and T caps in here. We'll put the 100 UF in there and do the the full Monty uh, for this particular client. Another um, significant change is they have added a resonance uh, circuit which is comprised here of C9 and R60. So uh, C9 here is a 47 nanofarad cap and uh, R60 is a 100 uh, K resistor. So they've added a resonance circuit uh, there um, for uh, the base on the amp, which I think is another um, meaningful improvement. So um, yeah, these are uh, the differences. But I wanted to do a, a video briefly just to cover the, the specific uh, differences and upgrades on the Blues Junior 4. So there you have it, and uh, I'll get to work on this one. Uh, and uh, yeah, like I said, uh, many improvements. Uh, some of them, most of them actually, that they did uh, make a ma material improvement. So hats off. Uh, I would have taken it about eight steps further, but uh, progress nonetheless. So uh, there you have it uh, Blues Junior 4.